Breaking news we want to tell you about. We're learning of a deadly tornado in South Texas, not far from the U.S. border. Texas is just one of the states still under a severe weather threat. The tornado you see here slammed into Nebraska last night. NBC's Katie Beck is in San Antonio. So, Katie, you're getting some new information on that deadly tornado early this morning in South Texas. What can you tell us? Yeah, hey, Lindsay, officials from the National Weather Service were actually sent out there to assess the damage and confirm that it was an EF-1 tornado responsible for one fatality and 10 injuries. We have seen some pretty dramatic footage from that area this morning of homes and businesses damaged and power lines down, uh, still sort of sifting through the rubble there to assess exactly what the cleanup efforts will look like. But there is still severe weather that is moving through the area, sort of in pockets at this point, scattered severe weather that goes basically to the northeast of where we are in San Antonio, Texas right now. But as you can see behind me, some of that weather uh, has already happened here. This is actually a highway underpass that is next to a creek, and the creek has spilled over, uh, shutting down the roadway, obviously submerging a vehicle. You can see that sign there that measures the depth of the water. Earlier today, that water was up to five feet. You can just tell how fast this water kind of comes and goes. It's already starting to recede. We do have the possibility of scattered storms later this afternoon here in San Antonio. This is an area that is very prone to flooding, and that is because it's so dry here. The ground doesn't actually absorb all of that rain and all of the heavy rainfall uh, that is coming from this very slow-moving storm system. So we'll wait till later today. Everything is still under a watch here in, in this area of Texas through tomorrow afternoon. Uh, so Mother's Day plans could be taking a turn uh, depending on where these pockets of weather pop up. I mean, I know the car is already slightly submerged. I don't know if anyone else is getting extreme anxiety seeing that convertible there, knowing that there are scattered storms forecast. How bad could things get this afternoon in Texas, Katie? Yeah, well, and that's why they call it flash flooding. I mean, it does come suddenly and spontaneously. And, and when there's three to five inches of rain in a forecast over a 12-hour period, especially in low-lying areas or dry areas like San Antonio, uh, they can catch folks by surprise. I think the worst of the severe weather uh, has started to make its way out of this area. Uh, but as for sort of the northern plains area of the country, they're going to be experiencing it next. It could involve hail. And again, the threat of tornadoes has not not subsided completely. These are sort of pockets and, and pop-up storms, if you will, that could have a real severe impact. Okay, Katie Beck, you and your crew stay safe. Thank you so much.